what's up y'all um i wanted to come on here super quick and do a super quick um movie review y'all know i try to um make my movie reviews non-spoilers and i just kind of tell you the message i got from the movie and you know little de little you know non-spoiling details that i might like about the movie I am getting ready for this video while I'm recording this video because I'm trying to do this super quick tonight. Um, this is late and I, I actually hope to have it up by tonight, which would be Tuesday night. And we just had Bible study and it really made me, this whole day really kind of had me on, on one about this movie. I just saw, I went to go see um, Judas and the Black Messiah and if you haven't went to go see it absolutely everybody needs to go see it especially um especially black people but i would say even white people because it's just it's a it's a good story it's a historical story um and i pretty much thought i was going to see a um uh, um black history movie i'm trying to figure out how to deal with this ring light it's really bright. Um, let's see. Like, I want to look good, but I don't want to look like, you know, a light bulb. So, let's try it there. Um, and I thought I was going to see pretty much a Black History movie. But I, I knew there was a love story in it. I could obviously tell from the, from the trailer. But really, it was so much more to it than than just that um for me it, was, it had a lot of spiritual connotation to it which makes sense uh based on the name of it but i just didn't expect that this is i bought i had to buy this the in the natural store hair line that's why i was doing uh we'll talk about that more when i have more time but um so i expected the love story aspect of it um just how much it resonated with me is really interesting there is a particular thing that is used in the movie that once you see it, you'd be like, oh yeah, I know Felicia was um, feeling it. And um, it was it was really uh, sweet. And it, it really was um, a, a more in-depth look on why um, Fred Hampton, you know, was who he was. Um, and it really changed my perspective on the Black Panther Party a lot, which I always knew that they were giving us an exaggerated. These people were really, really nice. They went for no foolishness, and they were really, really smart and really nice. They're actually nicer than I would have been, to be honest with you. And I don't consider myself politically radical at all. <laughs> um, but there were points in the movie where I was like, oh, no, nah, that wouldn't have been me. I wouldn't have been that level-headed in that situation. But they were really smart and really, um, I don't know, intelligent. I would say gentle, caring people. So that was a really different aspect than I had ever heard anybody, black or white, give when they talk about uh, Black Panthers and the party i knew you know mm -mm. but it also was very spiritual and you would think the name would have given it away for me but it didn't because i thought you know they're just using it as an example um you know it's a metaphor or whatever but it to me was very spiritual and it was all about <sighs> It, 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 it just was and I don't even think the people that made it may not have I don't know maybe they did um mean for it to be as deep as it was and as meaningful and so relevant not only to the political climate everything that's going on but to my personal life <laughs> and it was really funny because um I just kept thinking about the Judas right I kept thinking about the Judas uh, Judas in the Bible and ooh, 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 I need a hair tie and Judas and the story 
and I just kept getting like more and more upset the more I listened to the story I was just like the more I thought about it because I went to go see it twice already and um, I did go to the theaters to see it I was the only person in the theater so I was definitely socially distant sorry about that I wasn't prepared <laughs> um but I went to go see it and I was like and I just kept thinking about how I feel about Judas's in general in my life and in the Bible and because I actually in this particular story I didn't know what happened to um what was his name Bill William O'Neill that's his name William O'Neill um I didn't even know the story on him like I, I don't even think I was aware of his part of the story at all um with the Black Panther Party with Fred Hampton in general I'm just I did this there's so much black history to learn you know um anyway the more I thought about it I was like just getting angrier and angrier and I was getting angry because of what he did to um to betray this man I was also um, getting angry because I thought about um honestly people that God has shown me in my life that are maybe not cool with me for the right reasons or don't know how to handle me or don't have the right motives or whatever any possible Judas naysayer hater whatever the case may be and I just I was like just getting so I was taking it personal I really really was because we know what happened we know uh, Fred Hampton ended up losing his life and all of that and let me just say I need to say this the right way he didn't just lose his life he was murdered by the FBI which is part of the American government so that's what happened and um, so we all know that's going to happen. I wasn't shocked by that. And here's the thing, and this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but the movie itself wasn't as sad for me as I thought it was going to be. It was just like, this is the story, this is what happened. But seeing his effectiveness in the community and the legacy and everything attached to it, it was like, it was it was kind of beautiful to me how it all works out. Um, but for me, I was just like... <sighs> I can't stand no Judas, man. I can't stand it. And it's humbling when people, like, think enough about you to hate on you. But then at the same time, it's like, don't act like you my friend. If you're going to be my enemy, fine. But don't be acting like you like me when you really don't like me. You know what I'm saying? I hate some mess like that. And I'm just like, man, God, what am I supposed to do, man? And so, like, because really, so I'm watching the movie. And honestly, I feel like, you know... God was using it to bring that to the surface and I was just like man I can't man I can't Judas man I can't stand no man look at this man he's just shifty looking they start showing these you know how when you like something they start advertising it to you on social media and I was like man don't be showing me this shifty looking monkey I can't stand I was like hi I was so mad and um that's what I was on for the last couple of days and this morning, um, I was in, I'm, I'm in this online community. Um, and so this lady had posted about dealing with Judas's with grace and with love, like Jesus did, which is something God told me a long time ago. But you know, I got a little forgetful, especially after watching this movie. I, I could see that offense was still sleeping in there and so when she started talking about that i was like i was like man god okay i see you okay maybe i need to take heed to this or whatever and then i um freaking went to online bible study because that's how we're doing bible study right now at my church and pastor was talking basically about the same thing um although he was using primarily the story 
of Peter when he started just talking about being offended in particular and um, just how your spirit gets agitated and how your, mm, not even your spirit, but your mind and your soul gets agitated around certain people because you mad at them because you know they ain't about no business with you. And I was like, God, you on point. But he's talking about operating in love and not letting your love be tainted by offense and uh, and, and and neglect and all that. I, I don't know. But I was just like, I got these. These were, these were a Christmas markdown that I got. Because I'm not about to pay no whole lot of money for no brushes because I don't even wear makeup like that. Um, but yeah, I was like... I was like, God, um, excuse me, I, I have a right to be upset with these fake folks and flodgers and phonies and you smiling all in my face and hey sis and hey girl and what up and all that and when you really don't like me. I, I don't like fake people. I'm Aries. I don't like fake people. I can't do it. If you don't like me, great, but fake, I need you way, way over there if you fake. And so for God to bring that up to the surface and then to deal with it, not only this morning, but also in Bible study, just for the sake of the confirmation of it. I don't know what I'm looking like because I'm not a makeup artist. Um, but for God to bring that up, it was like, you set me up for that one. This is supposed to make my eyelashes look longer. Right? Which is cute. Um, and then the other one is supposed to make them look fuller. So I typically do a layer of each. I don't know really what's the difference. I was told once that I didn't need mascara, but I like it. Fake lashes is a no-no though. I tried that one time, never, ever again. But yeah, and you know, it's just funny how God will use certain things to like, get us together like he'll bring it to the surface just to to clean it out and to deal with it you know the whole while I kept thinking about Judas's and fake people and all this and all that I'm like yeah God what I'm supposed to do like how I'm how I'm, how I'm a shine on them guy you know what I'm, what I can't wait to get the opportunity to let them know man once you bless me I'll be like now you got something to really hate on like that really was deep in my heart it wasn't at the surface because I'm a nice person. But deep in here, I was I, I wanted God to bless me so that, I, so could that just, I could just shine on them. Just make them look terrible. Like, yeah, you ain't like me now. Look what God did. I was like, that ain't right. Um, he showed me that um, this morning through the message that was left in, uh, in the online community that I'm in. I just got a notification from that, so that should be interesting to go back and see what it says. And um, then he just brought it all home with Bible study with my dope pastor. Sometimes that's all you can do with a Judas. You still have to operate in grace and love, no matter what the other people are doing. And... Um, that is my movie review like at the end of the day if your purpose is accomplished and it doesn't matter who was trying to hate you or who was trying to um come against you like the purpose was served and then it's like okay now that this seed is out here what are we going to do with it um even with um fred hampton he did not deserve to die necessarily, but he definitely worked in his purpose while he was here and he left a legacy for us to continue. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.